Hello stars, welcome to another lesson. The topic before us, common method of cooking simple foods and snacks. Common method of cooking simple foods and snacks. You know, in each food, there is a way or there is a method in which we do prepare the food and also our snacks. And there is a way we also bake or prepare them. So let's keep going. Cooking method. We have different cooking methods. Cooking is the application of heat to food with the intention of getting a definite result. Some foods can be eaten raw, while some need to be cooked before they are eating those food that need to be cooked we have the raw yam we have the plantain the okra our carrots and our pan uh, orange can be eaten raw why the okra yam coconut yam need to be cooked before eating reason for cooking method we have so many reasons it is necessary to know why we cook our food before eating them. Why do you cook your food, kids? Okay, take, exam take for example, yam. Why do you fry your yam before eating? Why do you boil your yam before eating? It needs to be cooked. This item listed here, beans, cocoa yam, and yam, need to be cooked before we can eat them. You cannot definitely eat them as they are raw. So we need to cook them for us to have a good taste. Reason, we also have so many reasons. Cooking makes food free from germs. When you boil them or fry them, it makes you free from what? Germs. That's the reason we cook before we eat. Some food are cooked to make them eatable. Example like the yam and cocoa yam that we just made mention of earlier on. Cooking helps to preserve for later use. When you cook, it definitely we can preserve it for later use. Food tastes better when cooked and people eat more. When you cook and it is delicious, and more will be consumed. So when mommy prepare a special delicacy, kids, but truthful, what will you do? You can go over and over again and say, mommy, it's not enough. I want to have more. I'm not full. So when cooked food, especially when it is sweet, when it is good, in fact, we ask for more. So cooking food make us ask for more plates. Meats. Our meats cannot be eaten raw. So our meats are cooked to remove raw blood and make it tender or soft to eat. If you did not boil your meat very well, it will be so strong. It will not be so soft. Like the fish, we need to fry or boil, also with the egg, so that we'll be able to eat them very well. Food that cannot be eaten raw. There are some food that cannot be eaten raw. Examples of such food, cassava, beans, rice, snail, okra, coconut, Yam, and we have so many other food. We need to cook them before we can eat. Take for instance, mommy will just come and said, okay, take this cassava, just be eating it. Can you eat that? No. Or take this okra, just be eating it. You can't definitely do that because you need to cook them before you can eat them. Like our rice, we need to boil our rice before eating. Food that can be eaten raw. 
fruits. We have the apple, mango, carrot, banana, cashew, pineapple. We have watermelon, cucumber. So we have so many fruits or food that we can eat raw. So when mommy come and said, okay, take this apple, you cannot go and start boiling apple. So it needs to be eaten raw. So this food that, it, that is eaten raw is known as fruits because we normally eat our fruits raw. It needs not to be cooked. Preparation of simple meal using common method. We have so many methods. We have been talking about different methods since. So now we want to take a look at the method. Let's call them one after the other. Boiling and steaming. This method is another way of cooking. Boiling and steaming. Another method we have frying and baking. We need to fry our sauce and chicken before we can eat them. And baking, we need to bake our cake before we can also consume them. We have roasting and smoking. Roasting and smoking. Our meats need to be roasted and our corn need to be roasted or smoked as well. So the, what we see in the picture, we have the fish and the meat and the corn. That is roasting and smoking. We can eat our meat by frying or roasting, but our corn by boiling or roasting as well. Also with our fish. Recap, kids. You have learned various methods of cooking. So we have the various method of cooking. We have the boiling. We have the steaming, stewing, frying, baking, roasting, smoking, grifting. So all these methods will be discussed in our next class. We will emphasize on them in our next class. Keep learning and growing, kids. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.